Okay, this is 2015 Pro Debut Baseball. Um, it is uh, 6 1 June 1st. This is our first break of debut. I probably won't do a second team break. There is a chance I'll do a player break in this. Jason and I were thinking about maybe doing a player break. I don't know how it would go. I think it might go better than the team break because a lot of these people collect minor league players, but I'm going to think about it in a few days. Um, but anyways, on our team break was tonight. Let me go through and give you the owners. We got the Diamondbacks with Dino. Ridiculous has the Braves. Daniel S. has the Orioles. Why not has the Red Sox. Matt M. has the Cubs. Rob Brown has the White Sox. Adam has the Reds. Uh, Please MN has the Indi uh, the Indians. Matt M has the Rockies. Nola has the Tigers. BJ uh, BJPKMM has the Astros. Salk has the Royals. Robert Sparks has the Angels. Police MN has the Dodgers. Rob Brown has the Marlins. Michael Nelson has the Brewers. Andrew 95 has the Twins. Uh, SCUK has the Mets. Drifter76 has the Yankees. Isaac A. has the Athletics. Puiggy Bank has the Phillies. Matt M. has the Pirates. Dino has the Padres. Uh, the Giants didn't sell. I'm going to keep them. I can use more for team sets on them. Uh, Skyberg has the Mariners. Uh, Dino has the Cardinals. Michael has the Tampa Bay Rays. David Shim has the Texas Rangers. Toronto Blue Jays is original um, Sekic. And Matt M. has the Washington Nationals. That should be all right, everybody, I think. Okay, let's open the case. Um, you know what I was going to do? I was going to show you a couple of my variations, just so you guys might be able to help me if pick out the variation, because i got to go through fairly quick. And the variations are the one things that are hard to pick out. Where are those at? I'm going to grab them real quick. Oh, you didn't win the Cubs. I thought you won the Cubs, Dino. Matt took them from you. I knew it was somebody I knew. Well, I'll tell him not to cheer too loud if he hits a Chris Bryant auto. <laughs> it was. I remember that. And it was a Pirates break, and you did phenomenally well, Matt. I remember you hit a Meadows and something else tough. <laughs> uh, here's the variations I got in my uh, my personal breaks. I got Kolick with the glove right there, Bryant, Nola, and Addison Russell. That was three cases worth. So they're like one every ten boxes. So we should get one. We might get a second one if the odds hold up. That's the toughest thing for me to see. I promise you, if we miss it and it's sorting, it will get found and it will become yours. But um, they are a little hard to see because all it is is the different pitcher. And I can't go incredibly slow on the base cards on these or we will be here all night. What's going on, Shimmy? Beating up your computer? There's the case. Whoa! There's the case. It is a lot of cards. Pro Debut is one of those items that honestly does not do as well for breaks, but you actually brings more value than most of the breaks. And it is because the base cards are worth more. And base cards generally don't get factored in that much in breaks. 
it's more of a collector break than it is a gambling break. However, there are several teams that I can probably use more base cards. If you're interested, send me an email and say, you know, I only want one of each base card. If you want to give me some credit for them or offer on them, you can do that. It's better to do it via email, though. If you tell me now, I'll forget by the time I sort them. Not every team. I mean, like the Cubs and Red Sox are... The ones I can do the most with, but even the, some of the teams like the Reds and Indians and them, I sell pretty well. Pirates, I sell well. I always sell the Pirates really fast. All right. Awesome. Just a choice on people. There's a lot of, the parallels are pretty nice in this stuff too. We'll see it as we go. Good luck, everybody. I did do this on eBay. Um, I will post, I'll do it right now, especially in breakers. There's a couple names. I think they're new to breaking with this. Um, first of all, this is being recorded and it will be on YouTube. I will do a recap at the end. It might be a little bit longer break than some because it's 12 boxes. So if you get bored and you want to watch the recap at the end on YouTube, it'll be up tonight. Um, we do most of our breaks via Facebook. If you're interested in joining our Facebook group, we have 170 members. Um, I line a lot of breaks on Facebook. Some I usually do all Facebook, all my breaks on Facebook after its initial release. Sometimes I'll do the first one on eBay or if it's a if it's a more of a collector issue break, I'll do it on eBay like this is. The higher end breaks, I'll line on Facebook and sell through the spots on there. It's basically just because it's obviously cheaper for me and easier to do that way. Open the first box. But if you're interested, just click on that link. Not a lot of spam, just my Facebook room. For the breaks, I do have a four case player break for Bowman on Thursday, and that is on eBay. There's a first pennant card right there. Usually, the pennant cards are basically just one card. There, Mets get the early lead on the pennant cards. They're nice looking commemorative cards. I like them, they'll sell well for me. Yeah, it's a minor league issue, Tyler. Oh, I usually like to mention, I'm sorry, I'm live on two locations. You can be on either one. I'll answer your chat on either one. Box busters and breakers. You don't have to move if you don't want. You can move. You can be in both of them like Matt is right there. I like to mention the starter. People think I'm going nuts talking to nobody. I'm going to try to go as quick as I can on this. Because I think if I take too long, nobody's going to be with me. Generally in a box, I've opened three cases. We'll get two to three parallels. We'll get two relics. We'll get two autographs. We might get four parallels in a box. I'm not sure on that. We'll see. They're all color-coded, so they're easy to see, except for the variations. Actually, the autographs aren't color-coded either, but I see them pretty well. No Jason tonight. He works at uh, the casino on Monday nights. Monday nights are my Monday and Sunday breaks I usually do alone. I usually do not schedule a 12 box break for a Monday night, but it. I like the minor league stuff more than Jason. Jason will be with me Thursday, though, for the big break. There's another one pack break. Most of these I know the team. 
There will be a few like mascots in that. I may not know right away. I, trust me, I look it up before I send out to make sure it's going the right spot. You guys might know in the chat room right away too, but I usually double check it anyways. I'll show you this. Oh, it's out of 52. Good start for the Mets. Number 20 of 50, gold pennant of Noah Syndergaard. Las Vegas 51s. Syndergaard playing well. That's a nice card to have. <clears throat> All right, these are what the base cards look like, everybody. I won't show too many of them, but I'll show them. They're just like tops, and they're very nice. I think the base cards are very nice. Alex Jackson. It's a 200 card set, and it's a nice set. Insert card of Nick Williams. I do have a master checklist on Facebook. I gave it to a few people. If anybody wants one for anything, any purposes, just send me an email. I can give you my email later if you need it. It might be in the top of the room too, actually. I'm not sure. Let me adjust my screen a little bit so I can see a little better. There we go. Nice card of Corey Seager. First autograph for the Birmingham Barons, Nestor Molina. I think the Barons are the White Sox, aren't they? Yes, they are. Chicago White Sox, the first auto. I've done so many minor leagues over the last five years that I'm getting really good. The problem with minor leagues is once I learn the team for sure, they move. So... They do shift a little bit. Insert card of Fernando Perez for the Tin Caps. I think that's the Rays. No, it might be the Padres. It's Chris Bryant right there. It's his base card. The one variation I'll notice when going through will be Bryant. For sure. I may get another one, but I will not miss a Bryant if we get that lucky. Cody Medeiros, insert. For the Brewers, we saw him pitch the other night. There's a nice Devers card for the Red Sox. Red Sox have a nice checklist on this. So do the Cubs, the White Sox, Reds, Indians. There's some nice team sets. I just got done making mine. Cardinals have a nice team set. Padres, dude. Padres have 10 cards. So Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Second autograph for the Rockies, Forrest Wall. They, the autograph checklist was slightly better this year than last year, I thought. There's more medium names. Last year was a little bit slim. And then, of course, there's Bryant. I'm pretty sure Bryant's short print. I did get lucky enough to get one. I was pretty happy. But there's only one on eBay right now. So it's got to be fairly tough. Michael Chavis insert for the Red Sox. Yankees got an autograph in Lindgren. That's a pretty decent autograph. Uh, Astros got A.J. Reed. That's a decent one. Nick Gordon's in it. That's a good one for the Twins. I did not get a Gordon Auto in my three cases. Tyler Beattie insert for the Giants. The Red Sox have a really nice... The Red Sox only have five base cards, but four of them are really good. There's Joey Gallo. Gallo got called up today, didn't he? We'll see what he can do. Nice card for the Rangers. Kyle Schwerber. First parallel card is an orange there, number to 25, and that is for the Red Sox, Eduardo Rodriguez. 
Orange parallel for Rodriguez, number 22 of 25. The Red Sox or the Dodgers have a nice set. Grand Home, Seeger. Um, there's two others. It's only a five card team set, but it, a Verdugo. There's one, and one other guy. I thought that one other top guy. I think it's um, isn't uh, the pitcher that was in Bowman this year is in it. De Leon. Dodgers have a nice team set in this. Alex Jackson insert. Almost done with box one. You're going to get about 10 team sets in the case of your team, approximately. I got 30 team sets of most teams out of three cases. Gold card for the Rockies, Kyle Freeland. Nice card for the Rocks. Good box for the Rockies. And the last card is Fragments on the Farm. Pensacola Bayfront Stadium. Pensacola Blue Wahoos. I don't remember who Pensacola is. That's Reds. Nice card for the Reds. I will double check all these, so don't worry. But, I, yeah, Pensacola is the Reds. I do remember that. Nice card there for the Reds. Good box for the Reds, the Rockies, and the um, uh, for sure the Mets. That Syndergaard's a nice card. Might have been the best card in the box. The Syndergaard to fifty. Box two. Anybody be interested in doing, um, would be bidding on players if I did a player break of this. I'm going to list lots myself. So if you just want a big group of base cards or team sets, I'm going to have that. But Player break one might be bad because you're going to get a huge check sh section of their base and then you might get a parallel. And then some guys will have auto chances or jer relic chances. Yeah. I might give it a try. I just started doing more player breaks, and they're they go they're they're a little more work, but they've been fun and they've sold well. So, but they are more work. A player break would have two hundred and fifty teams. So, I'll get people that buy multiple players, but I'll still have at least a hundred labels and shipments to make. Like this break, I'll have like 20. So that's a lot more work. Jimmy likes uh, doing breaks with 150 labels. That takes longer than it sounds. <laughs> Your internet going in and off or what, Dave? Hey, Robert. Outage in the area. You getting bad weather? <laughs> if you guys are having trouble on breakers, you can try um, box busters. I can't link it in there. but um, So don't link it for me, anybody in there. But... It's if you just Google box busters and arcade collectibles, you'll find it. The other night, Breakers was out. For a while. We will have it on YouTube also if you missed part of it. Was that a patch of Seeger? Oh, we got a nice card for Houston right there. And a mascot.
Hopefully we get a couple one of ones. These products are great if you have a minor league team near that the people are playing at too. If you like to get cards signed. They're not quite as good to get assigned as Heritage, but yep, Jason's working the casino. How you doing, Steve? Okay, box two. Yep, I did have a nice base card of Seeger. You'll get plenty of them. You'll get about about 10 base cards of each player, which is pretty nice. It's a full case and not a six boxer, so you get quite a few base. Insert card of Nick Gordon for the Twins. I need to get a one of one Joey Gallo to celebrate his getting called up today. These cards are really nice, really bright color. I like them. Oh, got a gold auto. For Winston Salem Dash, which I'm pretty sure is the White Sox, it is number 46 of 50, Tyler Danish. Good start for the White Sox. Got a gold auto to 50, and they got a regular auto, Molina. Don't do it, Jimmy. I'm hitting the gallow tonight just for you. I'm calling my shot. Matt Chapman insert. Lindo Arcia for the Brewers. Brewers have a nice team set in this too. Arcia, Gatewood, Harrison, and Medeiros. Brewers got some nice picks, uh, for a change. Got a good minor league system going at single A. There's the Derrick Hill card. Insert card of Freeland for the Rockies. Padres got a good set too. They got uh, Gettys and Turner. Clint Coulter insert. It's another one of the Seegers. Two for two on Seegers in the boxes. Jose Peraza, gold for the Atlanta Braves. That's number to 50. Number 10 of 50. Another Chris Bryant. Severino. Got a mascot card. Man, kids love these cards. Strike for the Trenton Thunder. These cards sell well on eBay. I always get people buy them for their kids, and kids freaking love these. I actually got a one of one of one of them of Ted the Tourist for the Rockies. I think Trenton Thunder is the Yankees, aren't they? <laughs> Let's strike. Yep, Yankees. Trenton's been the Yankees for a while, I think. Got a patch. Pennant patch. Carlos Correa. For the Houston Astros. Gold card for the Dodgers. God, the Dodgers have a good set. I forgot they have Urias, too. Gold card of Julio Urias. Number 
Congrats there, Dodger owner. Nice card. Urias goes pretty good. Pitch in L.A. You know he's going to be a good pitcher pitching in L.A. That place was just made for pitchers. There's auto number two for the Houston Astros, A.J. Reed. <laughs> Sweetheart for the Red Sox. DJ Peterson for the Mariners promo night. This guy going to be a good Yankee, I think. Aaron Judge. Putting up solid numbers for the second straight year. Just looks like a baseball player. That might be it for box two. Grand Holmes insert card for the Dodgers. And a Gallo card ends it. Making sure that Gallo wasn't a variation. Box three. What's up, Pazzy? All right. Very good. Got mostly baseball this week, though, Bazzy. Actually, I got all baseball this week. Next week, I'm doing Prism Draft, though, I think. I believe so. I sent him an email today trying to verify when I'm going to get shipped, release day, and the last charge because I've only um, he only charged my deposit so far, and I didn't get a response yet. So I'll stay on him uh, as soon as I get an email back from him. I'm going to post it in the room. We had Eric who bought the full box and he has two spots in the first one is just Jones and he calls me three times on it a day. We are going to be at the National, so when one of you guys wins that Bryant certificate, I did see um, he posted on Blowout that um, the four losers of the Bryant contest are going to get like a a package worth over a thousand dollars too so it's not all it's not all super or nothing I saw that that didn't disappoint me it should be good I just want to make sure when the date is I'm not going to post the third box until I get an absolute sure date of when I'm going to get the third one. And if he posts the checklist and I like it a lot, I might get a second case. But I want to look at a full checklist before I get into a second case, as expensive as it is.
get Shimmy interested in Sankey. Okay, box three. Good luck. Got a Braves card right there. Rome Braves, game used pitching rubber, fragments of the farm. Tore apart the pitching rubber. And a gold pennant, number 35 of 50 of Kyle Crick. That's Shimmy's favorite player. Got an orange right away. Good luck, everybody. Johan Urena for the Brooklyn Cyclones. Brooklyn is the New York Mets, last time I checked. Number 6 of 25, the New York Mets of Urena. Second nice card for the Mets in the break. Get that Brian Auto in this box. Tyler Kolick insert. For the Cleveland Indians, autograph Mike Pappy. Nice card for the Indians. He was a first round pick for the Indians. Yes, this is minor league baseball, Bazzi. Some guys have hit the majors, but um, mostly minor leaguers. It's a good checklist, though. It's basically the 200. It's about the 200 top minor leaguers, so it's a good checklist. But Correa. Mike Wright. Insert for the Norfolk Tides. I want to say the Mets, but I'm not sure on the Norfolk Tides. That might not be right. That might might be Balt Baltimore or the Mets. I'll look that up unless you... It's Baltimore. Okay. Those insert cards don't say the team, where the base cards say the team on it. They say affiliate of right there. The insert cards don't. That's why sometimes the insert cards stump me a little bit. Casey Gillespie, he's a raise. Carlos Rodon. Here's Bryant. Kyle Schwarber insert for the Cubs. Autograph, Mike Freeman for the Reno Aces. I want to say the, well, I'll just look. Diamondbacks. I would have been wrong. Arizona Diamondbacks. Hey, Doc Titty, how you doing? Keep going here on box three. Let's get another parallel card of somebody. We got a gold right there. Could be a gold auto. Nope, not going to be a gold auto. Gold card is Sean Newcomb for the Angels. Chris is um, Chris Harper usually in here once in a while, always asking me if I got anything new on Newcomb. It's a good spot for good card for the Angels. He's a top left-hander. 31 of 50. 
31 of 50. Um, I would, I sell them both almost exactly the same and they cost the same shimmy. Um, the autograph checklist seems to usually be better in pro debut, but I get, um, there's, there's just some people that just collect heritage. So, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to differentiate. They are really close to the same as far as for me selling. I think on breaks, I do a little bit better in heritage. Alex Verdugo. Heritage are better to get signed if you're looking to get cards signed because the pin, the ink gets soaked in easier. But Pro Debut's design of the card looks just like the regular Topps card, and I think that's why the sets go so well. If you look up um, Pro Debut um, sets, just put in 200 Debut, the sets sell for 40 to 50 strong. And there's only 200 cards in the set, so there's obviously a lot of collectors for them. The Devers. AJ Reed for the Astros. Not many sets that I'll break where you can sell the base sets for 40 bucks. That's a rarity with no short prints either. Uh, they're tough to find the 2010 because of trout. I don't have a set. I would just be looking on eBay if I was trying to find one. That would be my only source for it. Yeah, on the pro debut, Jason, who is, you know, a professional at getting in-person autographs, he uses the pro debut, but he rubs like uh, baby powder or something on it first. I don't know. You'd have to ask him. He does. He knows what he's doing. You just got to get something to get the ink to stay nice on it. All right, let's hit some parallels here. What do we got so far? Open three boxes. <laughs> 50,000. That's like a job. So we got five base autos and a gold of Danish. We got two oranges in three boxes. And four golds. Newcomb, Urias, Freeland, and Peraza. For the parallels. And then we have the relics. We have two relic pennants. Crick and Syndergaard. No, we have six autos. Five base and one gold. The base are Wall, Molina, Reed, Freeman, and Peppy. And the gold was Danish. I relisted that Bryant last night, Shimmy, and it sold right away. I knew I'd sell it eventually. Bryant sell pretty good. Yeah, this product has black borders, too. 
Uh, they're one of ones. I hit one in three cases. I hit a Hunter Dozier of the Royals. There's a very nice card for the Dodgers. Wow. That's going to pay for the Dodgers spot right there. And a nice card for the Mets. Wow, some of the same teams getting over and over. I'll just show them to you guys right away. Michael Conforto pennant for the Mets. Mets have done well. And the, definitely the nicest card we've hit in the break so far is a gold three-color patch, 29 of 50 of Corey Seager. That's a nice patch, the Dodgers. Congrats, Dodger owner. If your kid was going to be happy about a Seager base card, they're going to love that. I sold a Seeger patch not too long ago. I was pretty surprised how strong he is in value. All right. Good luck. Let's hit some couple good autos to go with those patches. There's the first auto for the New York Yankees. Jacob Lindgren. He's actually in the major leagues now. Left-hand pitcher for the Yankees. He is worth more than his brother currently. His brother's not playing too bad. He's hanging in there in Seattle. What is he, about 260 with 10 homers type of thing? Tuki Toussaint, insert. He's going to be a good player, but it's early in his career. This guy's hitting the, hitting, the heck, uh, hitting the heck out of the ball, Schwarber. I think he's going to be in the majors by before the end of the year. Schwarber. Max Pentecost. It might just be a call-up, but at the end. Oh, cool, Uncle Weezy. That's awesome, man. Love it when kids... Uh, I was the same way that age. My daughter actually enjoys it a little bit, but not quite that much yet. I need a teacher to be full-time sorter for me, but she's not ready for that either. Jacob Gatewood. Insert. Got a gold card coming up. Could be the auto, too. It is not an auto. Garrett Fullencheck for the Atlanta Braves. Gold number to 50. Number 15 of 50. No, it is tougher. I had a hobby store for actually a long time. It's a little tougher. Especially if you're in a town where it's not that easy to find a cheap location for a hobby store. But, uh... That overhead can get you. Cody Decker, insert. We got a black. That is a one of one right there. Black parallel card. The Braves are doing really well. So good luck. I did not see the name yet. Okay. 
Dan Black is the black parallel for the Chicago White Sox. Birmingham Barons. Where's the one of one part? Right there. He did. <laughs> the uh, White Sox doing well. That had a chance to be a really big card there. I only got one in three cases of those, so that was a decent hit. Buxton's not a variation, is it? Nope. Autograph, Justice Sheffield for the Indians. First round pick from last year. Ah, that's bizarre. First round pick in last year's draft, Justice Sheffield. For Cleveland. Where's all the pirates at, Matt? I almost always hit pirates in this stuff. Miguel Andujar, promo night uniforms. <laughs> well, we got we got eight left. There's a Meadows base. We'll start small. We got an orange here. Oh, that's a good one. For the Arizona Diamondbacks, Orange Peter O'Brien. Arizona went pretty reasonable too. I thought Arizona was probably one of the best deals in when I was going through pricing. The Reds went, I remember, went pretty, uh, pretty good deal too. But Arizona's got like nine or ten cards. So they got more parallel chances. And O'Brien sells really, really well on eBay. 16.25. Really? He was hitting that well when they let him go to Korea? He must have got a payday over there or something, huh? Braxton Davidson. <laughs> oh, Brian. Okay. Well, Brian has been too. All right, let's go to the next box. Interesting box. We got a one of one and an O'Brien to 25. I still like this card best. That's a great patch of Seeger. Blue, white, and red. Nine fifty-five, and I've done four boxes. I started about nine fifteen, so it's about ten minutes a box. So I should be done around eleven, maybe eleven ten Central Time. Did he really? But if he was raking that good, you'd think he could get more playing here. Or was that O'Brien stat? Was he betting 324 or was it O'Brien in the minors? Because I know O'Brien's playing well. 
That's Black's dad. You know what, though? For one year, for a guy that's probably been playing a long time, you get the promise of $300,000. You're going to probably just take it and go for one year. He might be back quick. He's got pretty solid stats, but he was born in 87, so he's almost 30 years old. Uh, he's about 28. Yeah, 27. <laughs> That's a lot of watts. It's another card for Arizona there. We are in the fifth box of cards. We've opened four. Yes, one. Well, e it was on eBay. Sold by team. Yeah, you get up to. He's getting the age where you, somebody says three hundred thousand dollars. You're like, well, I may not get that million dollar. You know, in the minor leagues, unless they're a first round pick, they're not making that great of money. I mean, Byron Buxton's the world are, but most are not. There's Tuki Toussaint. Patch card for the Diamondbacks. Got another patch card right here. This one is, oh, one of one. Our second one of one in five boxes. It does not want to focus. It is Homer for the Peoria Chiefs. I think I know what team that is. There's the one of one right there. The Peoria, the Peoria Chiefs are the Cardinals. If he is Peoria. Yeah. Congrats, Dino. You got a one of one mascot. Is that the black parallel is what it is? Yeah, that's the black parallel of the mascot is what it is, Dino. <laughs> that's the black parallel of the mascot. We've got Dan Black and Homer for our two uh, mascot parallels. They have printing plates too. I hit a printing plate one, but that's not a printing plate. That's the black version. Catch up on a few of thick sleeves here. Okay. Doing good on the one of ones. We got two of them for the Cardinals and the White Sox so far. Tyler Daney Shadow. We got a gold of him already. That's the base. A lot of White Sox in this break. Oh, sweet. We went to a minor league game uh, last week. Me and Jason. We went to see the Brewers and the Twin Systems games. With Cedar Rapids and... Um, I can't remember the Brewers Midwest League team. King, not King County. Daniel Corbanel for the Giants. So there you go, Gary. 
the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. Hey, Gary, the um, the Benjamin sold, I think, for 57. Carlos Rodon, insert. 57, I have about 88%. It'd be about 6, 7. It'd be, it, it nets about 50. So it's 25 each break uh, credit. Well, it, I can actually send you 25 if you want, or take 25 off your next break, either one. I owe you 25 bucks, put it that way. And I owe Ricky 25 bucks too. Aaron Nola. Got a red parallel. These are to five. Oh, that's a good one, too. For the Eugene Emeralds, Trey Turner. Eugene is the San Diego Padres. He's actually going to be a national at some point, but he hasn't been officially traded yet. It wouldn't matter. It's whatever team is on the card. And this one is the San Diego Padres. Number five of five. Shimmy's going to leave the room now. Sorry, Shim. Congrats, though, Dino. That's a nice card, man. Got a gold. Huh. Gold card right behind it of Trey Turner. Tops mix, mixing stuff up. Dino, you need to thank Shimmy's bad internet because if it wasn't for his bad internet, you wouldn't be getting these cards. This is just the universe picking on Shimmy as well it is. <laughs> Turner is a great prospect though. He's probably San Diego's top right now, and as soon as he's traded to the Nationals, I, when he's this player to be named later or whatever, he'll probably be the Nationals' top. Either him or Giolito. All right, moving on. Had one to five and two to two one of one so far. That's pretty good on the numbered cards. Cole Tucker insert. Have not hit that many parallels in the autos yet. But that could change quickly. This rough Snyder looks pretty good for the Yankees. A lot of people collecting him already. There's an autograph for the St. Louis Cardinals, Jack Flaherty. Solid auto for the Cardinals. He was a first-round pick. Tops put more first-round pick autos this year than last year. Several of these guys were first-round picks. Not just career minor leaguers like they've done in the past a little more. Oh, cool. What is Everett for Seattle, Shimmy? Is that rookie ball or is that high A or Alex Blandino? A ball, is that high or low A? Because middle A is, um, is Clinton. There's like three levels of A. That might be high A, huh? Oh, it's lower? Okay, he might be there soon then. He's not on Clinton anymore.
Greg Bird for the Yankees. I hit one dual auto in uh, three cases. It was uh, Giolito and AJ Cole for the Nationals. All right. That was a good box. Had a Flaherty, a Red Trey Turner, and Danish. One, two, three. After this one, will be halfway done. Let's get a black one of one auto. Or a printing plate auto. <laughs> okay. You see Ruff, Ruff Snyder, where do you see him play at? Thomas. Where is he playing at right now? Scranton. His autos are selling pretty well in Bowman. We got a, uh, a blue one graded in BGS right now. Hopefully it comes back nice for us. Here's a patch right there. Fragments of the farm for the Round Rock Express ballpark seat from Dell Diamond. That's uh, Rangers, I believe, isn't it? Round Rock. Yeah. Oop, got the next patch in the next pack. Tim Anderson for the Chicago White Sox. Things don't want to focus that well. I've gotten a lot of special cards that say Barons on it already today, haven't I? A lot of Barons. No break tomorrow. My kid's last day of school for the year. Gonna take her to the mall. Have a little fun there. We may or may not do something Wednesday night, but Thursday we'll be busy all day with Bowman baseball. Hopefully we're gonna hit some tougher cards in Bowman. Awesome. Well, thank you. Hey, I don't know if you're here at the start, but if you want to join our uh, our Facebook group, if you're on Facebook, we have 170 members right now. It's all for um, it's all for filling out breaks, and I do updates and checklist updates and that type of stuff. If you're interested, we do about 25% of our breaks on eBay. The other 75%. Oh, okay, great. The other 75% we do, I fill on Facebook. It's so much easier. I just do a post and then people hit the spots. But one thing about Facebook, you don't get many new customers doing it like that. So that's the best part about eBay for me is bringing new people into the breaks. All right, box six. Oops. Sorry about that. Throwing a couple base cards on the floor. Kyle Crick got thrown away. Got a gold card right at the start.
Braden Shipley for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Been a good break for Arizona. Yep. If you guys taken off, remember, if you want to watch any more of the break, it will be on YouTube tonight. It will be there for anybody tomorrow or late tonight. Michael Conforto insert. Bradley Zimmer insert. There's Jose De Leon, the other Dodger. Dodgers got a pretty good system right now for minor leaguers. They usually do, though. They're real aggressive at signing these um, international kids. Them, Boston, New York, they're the ones that got the money to do it. I wouldn't be surprised eventually if they make international kids go through the draft system someday. We got two parallel cards coming up. One could be an auto real easy. DeGrom is a great pitcher. Got an orange. For the Cincinnati Reds, nice card for Adam, Jesse Winker. I love to hit some. I've hit some really tough Hunter Harveys before. I hit his printing plate auto in um, a break this year at some point. Or no, just printing plate, not printing plate auto. Jesse Winker. Got another orange right away. No, I would not be surprised if this was an auto. Since you got two oranges back to back, good chance this one's an auto. It is. For the Cedar Rapids Colonels, Nick Birdie. That is the Minnesota Twins. I think it's one of the two Twins autos. I know they probably would rather have the other one, but that's still not a bad card. He was a second-round pick last year, number 8 of 25. Eight of 25 for Nick Birdie. Lowest-numbered autograph we've got so far. There's Chris Bryant. Where are you, Chris, on the autograph? Brandon, uh, Brandon Drury, insert. Alex Blandino for the Reds, insert. For the Atlanta Braves autograph, Braxton Davidson. Atlanta's having a very good break. Braxton was the first round pick for the Braves, I think. Yep. Last year. Raphael Devers insert.
Insert card, Nomar Mazzara for the Rangers. These cards are all, insert cards are all pink. First time I saw one of those, I was like, this got to be some kind of special parallel. I already went through these. That's halfway through. We got six boxes left. Yeah. I had to, Jason. Man, I have so many DL spots, it's not even funny. And they all keep getting... Uh, they all keep getting setbacks. They all keep getting setbacks. Devin Travis, always, he just keeps getting delayed. Arcia keeps getting delayed. Justin Murnau, who knows when he'll play again. Uh, Desmond Jennings has been on an island for two months. I don't know if he's ever going to play. Matt Adams is gone. I had to cut him. I still don't have a full lineup. I picked up two people and I was banking on either RC or Travis being back for the my uh, team and they both are going to miss the week, I think. So It's killing me in uh, runs produced for fantasy baseball. But my pitching is good. I know. Some of these guys, I look at their team and, well, you know. I was in a break the other day where I saw Travis Darno uh, bat knob. He sells phenomenally well. I thought he was at uh, single A. He's he not playing now again? Who got the shutout for the Brewers, Gary? Nice card for Cincinnati. Oh, nice card. Nice little patch there of Michael Lorenzen. Starting pitcher for Cincinnati. He's up on the parent, parent club now. Nice card for Adam. Adam's having a good break for Cincinnati. Spears and three relievers. Gary, did you know that we when we went to uh, see your team, they none of them played. It, well, Madera's pitch, but Gatewood and Harrison both didn't play. Harrison threw a ball to my daughter, though, so. Or no, it wasn't a ball. It was a t-shirt. It was a t-shirt. He threw out t-shirts. Nice card for the Indians. Pennant, Clint Frazier. I wanted to see how, uh, how Harrison and Frazier looked, though. Not Harrison and Frazier. Harrison and Gatewood. Madero's pitched his best game of the year, I think, Gary. <laughs> Red Sox are going to start making a are going to start making a run here pretty soon, I bet. This card is so neat. Strike. It's got texture to it. Okay, box seven. Oh, he's fine. You know the Red Sox will win the World Series again in a year or two. Boston's getting 
Michael Chavis, insert. They can't win every year. They got to alternate with the Giants. Oh, got a printing plate. Looks like an insert printing plate or something, doesn't it? Yep, it is. Insert printing plate. One of one. Our third one of one of the break. This one's going to the Oakland Athletics. Matt Chapman. DD19. Third one of one of the break. We got Athletics. The White Sox. And Homer of the... I'm forgetting. Of the Cardinals. Nice card there for Athletics. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Um, do you have it on eBay yet, Thomas? Or not? Autograph of Blake Anderson for the Marlins. Sometimes when it's on eBay, it's the best to show people because you can link it. If it's not on eBay, uh, somebody I know um, in our group has a one-of-one of, one of Luis Gonzalez. If there's anybody that uh, is interested in that, let me know and I will get you in contact with them in a heartbeat. If it's on eBay, though, drop the link. No, it's not. Okay. If you put it on eBay, you can always drop the link in the room, too. Did you search eBay one of one, Luis Gonzalez, at all? For Tier 1 Auto? Sean Newcomb insert? Was Luis the one that hit the uh, broken bat single off Mariano? Was that Luis Gonzalez? I've had several, Bazzy. I'm about ready to just lower the price and take it, but I've been trying to be picky. I've had so many offers between three fifty and three seventy five. I got another offer of three fifty today. Go card. Hey, there's a nice one for today. Not a one of one, but a gold of Joey Gallo. Got called up today. Number three of 50. What's his jersey number? It's not three, is it? Can't tell. You think I should just sell it for three fifty, Bazzy, or keep trying to get four hundred? Michael Conforto insert. Yeah, he just tells me try to get as much as I can for it. I think it'll be gone within uh, a half a week. I've had so many offers on it. Those things are popular. Autograph for Harrisburg Senators, Drew Vettelson. I think that's the Nationals, isn't it? Harrisburg. Yep. Washington Nationals. I thought Luis was the one that hit that uh, off, uh, off Mariano. That broken bat up the middle. He's got to have some fans, uh, even though Arizona is not the most popular team in the world, they still got some fans in their young history. We're just working up for that Brian autograph. Got to stay positive. We got Shimmy a Gallo. Shimmy must not be paying attention, huh? Tim Anderson insert.
Alex Jackson. Shim has the Rangers. Can you believe that? He's at Starbucks. He's in here complaining about his internet, Freddy. Freddy, you did minor league last year. I remember it. No bids this year? I think this is one of the good breaks you did last year. <laughs> Shimmy's internet is killing him tonight. Derek Hill insert for the Tigers. Distinguishing debut. Whew. That is it for that box. Five left. Uh, I have, I'm a, more of a, uh, Brooklyn Dodgers fan. I like vintage baseball. I don't mind the Dodgers. Mattingly, I think, uh, is not my favorite manager. I don't mind the Dodgers, but I'm not really a Dodgers fan. Even though I'm wearing a Dodgers shirt. It says Robinson on the back of it. I got a Jackie Robinson Stan Usual t-shirts I wear for breaks often. I do like Vince Scully. I will definitely say that. Every year, I think it's going to be his last year, though, and he goes another year. First game was 81 Dodgers Yankees World Series. That's awesome. That was the strike certain year. Fernando Mania. Yes! I just read your comment, Freddy. I love how they loved him like he was the greatest thing ever and then he bolts on him. They'll still probably be good this year, but they've had some good basketball years besides the last few years. I don't know, man. There is so much more security in college basketball, and the money's not that much different. It really isn't. The money difference is like three-something million to five million. And he can coach forever and be king of the world in Ames. I know it might be more of a challenge in the in pros. I understand that. But, man, the security is in college basketball. They have a basketball team. You get your Travis Trice bull crap out of here. <laughs> you could at least talk about a good Michigan State player. <laughs> How about Magic Johnson? Or a good coach like Judd Heathcote? 
Judd Heathcote runs circles around Tom Izzo. All right, box number seven. And yes, I'm bitter. <laughs> box number, is this seven or eight? Ten? This is eight, I'm sorry. Bazzi's trying to fluster me with his Michigan State comments. Cody Medeiros insert. Michigan State's a football school now anyways. Got a big old patch or something here. Oh, that's neat. Wilmington Blue Rocks, 2014 Carolina California League All-Star Game ticket. That's kind of a neat memorabilia piece there. Wilmington Blue Rocks, is that the Royals? I want to say Royals on that. Yep. Hershiser was a great pitcher for the Dodgers. Man, his runs in the 80s. Dodgers have always had great pitchers. Well, not always. There's been some gaps, but it is definitely the place to get pitchers. They're a football school. Foster Griffin. The Royals hitting big all of a sudden. The Royals were uh, went for a really good deal on the break, too. Foster Griffin. Grand Holmes could be. We've hit some really tough cards at Grand Holmes. We just sold his Orange Bowman Draft Auto uh, a week ago. See, Jason's here to back me up. I like Judd Heathcote. Roman Wick. Who's Roman? Roman Wick's the Cardinals, isn't he? I think he is. State College Spikes. Yeah, I know I looked it up the other day and I got it written down. I thought State College used to be Pittsburgh. Got a gold. Got a gold for the Nationals. Lucas Giolito. Nice card for Matt. We got to hit Matt some more cards. Matt got a lot of teams, and I have not done well enough for him. I've hit well for Matt the last week. We can't come to a cr halt, uh, crashing halt. I had a couple really tough cards for you last week, Matt. What was it? There was a couple really tough ones. Oh, one was Kang. I hit the Pittsburgh Pirate Prism Auto number to 10. That was a big card for sure. But it seems like there was another thing I hit for you. Jacob Gatewood insert. I got a piece of the fur of one of the mascots too, Wyo. I got that same card. It was kind of cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a gold card for the White Sox. White Sox have a, had a good break. That's an insert gold of Carlos Rodon. Oh, was it Kershaw? Was that a division break for Kershaw? That's 18 of 50. Yep. I think I'm lucky. The person I hit the most for is Big Time Freddy. For sure. But I hit a couple nice cards for Matt lately. Got a gold auto. Gold auto coming up. Got a gold patch coming up too. 
Tuki Toussaint insert. <laughs> Hold on a second, Freddie. I'm going to show you a link. Got a Seattle Mariner card. That's a neat card. Number 44 of 50 of Alex Jackson. Gold pennant. Zach Leas. I've had a lot of his cards from past minor league systems. Another Dodger pitcher. Nice card for Seattle Mariners, the great Northwest. What's up? Only four boxes left. Uh, I've got three one of ones. Not, so Not the biggest names, but it's still three one of ones. After this box, I got to drop a link in chat to show Freddie a card. Gold Auto, Mike Freeman for the Reno Aces, Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona's had a really good break. <laughs> He's working. He works on Monday night. You're supposed to be here entertaining me on Monday night. How many boxes of cards did you bring over? Basically, three thirty-two hundred counts. Oh, it's thirty-two hundred counts. Tyler Beatty insert. Yeah, I'm gonna need him back to out. Tori's in there ready to sort him. I put it work. Oop, got a gold. Got a gold for the Indians. Justice Sheffield. Cleveland's had a good break too. Got some of the same teams over and over. I'd rather smooth it out a little bit, but not much you can do. Some more minis for you too. Oh, Bowman minis? Yeah. Because I apparently missed the first time through. I'm going to hit a Chris Bryant here just for you. Every in the next box, if you stay. The Cardinal fans here, I know I can hit a Cub Auto. Miguel Sano insert. It's a little slower box. Oh, got an orange. Justin O'Connor from the Montgomery Biscuits. <laughs> I love that name. 12 of 25 for the Tampa Bay Rays. That is Michaels. Justin O'Connor has. Catcher for the Rays. First Rays card out of 25. I like how they hand them I know. Of the mascots. I got a one of one of a Cardinal mascot. That's awesome. Homer from the Peoria Chiefs. There you go. Isn't that knee? That's awesome. That's one of my three one of ones. All right. Four boxes left. All right. I got a roll. Okay. Uh, she knows that she can sort them if she wants. Just set them down there. She's probably gaming, isn't she? I don't know. Check it out. All right. See you, bud. Yep. Four boxes. Oh, that's fine. Uh, they'll all get sorted in a team anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm mixed with mine. Already sorted in. I already, already uh, sorted them out for you in sets of 10. Oh, in the and sets all, of 10? All the extras are separate. Okay. So there's that and then the minis and a couple more inserts for you. Okay. I'll throw them in the box. All right, thanks, man. You see if you could beat my sale there, Freddy. Box number nine.
Got a patch. Got a pirate finally. <laughs> First Pittsburgh Pirate card, I think, of the break. Josh Bell for the Altoona Curve. A bell format. Is he? Freddie, who was your other team in that break? Was it Seattle? Angels in Seattle. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, the other case didn't have any angels in it either. We didn't get a Mike Trout in the division break. We didn't get a Ken Griffey either. Uh, Angels, we hit a uh, Sean Newcomb parallel. Gold, non-auto of Sean Newcomb. Not a bad card for the Angels. I thought it was a nice card. Newcomb's a good prospect. Ready, your boy uh, Felix Hernandez has been pitching well. He pitched today. He finally have a bad outing. I thought he's had a few good ones in a row. He outpitched Archer last week. I saw. Felix's bad outings are usually four earned runs. In six innings. Okay, box number nine. We got three left after this one. Let's get another one of one. Let's get some Cubs cards. We have not hit much for the Cubs. Braxton Davidson insert. I have not seen a variation yet. There likely will be at least one in this case. If I don't see one through the case, then one will turn up in the sorting, and I'll let person know. We got an orange right here. For the St. Louis Cardinals and the Peoria Chiefs, Rob Kaminsky. Number 3 of 25. Wow, that is a bad outing for Felix. That's got to be his worst of the year. Rob Kaminsky. Autograph for the Mississippi Braves, Robbie Hefflinger. I do not know Robbie Hefflinger at all. For the Atlanta Braves. I'm not sure I got this one in my regular one. Regular cases. Was he? That's right, he was. I remember that. You are correct. I did get him in that in Heritage. Max Pentecost insert. 
Let's get some ink there. This kid looks like he's a good prospect for the Mets, Steven Motts. Mets are just full of pitchers. Arena insert for the bets. Yeah, that's definitely one of the weaker ones. Last year, though, they had several in that category. Several. This year, there's a lot of first round picks. Matt Chapman, insert, hit a printing plate of him earlier. Got another mascot. This one is called Nutsy. N-U-T-Z-Y. Nutsy is for the Richmond Flying Squirrels. That is Sam Fran, I think, is it? Yep. Richmond Flying Squirrels, San Francisco Giants. Nutsy. Yeah, <laughs> the texture is awesome on these. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Got the mascot feel a little bit. Nutsy. Finish out box nine here. Duplicate autograph. Our second one for the Cleveland Indians, Mike Peppy. Auto number two of him. The first round pick for Cleveland. After the next three boxes, I'll do the recap. Got a gold for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jamison Talion on the Indianapolis Indians, but he is a pirate. Number 01 of 50 for Talion. Matt picking up esteem a little bit here with the Pirates. Still haven't hit that Brian Auto. Trying to do the thing where you talk about it enough, you hit it. Doesn't always work. Be nice to see Nick Gordon, too. I think he is probably the second best auto in the set. There might be somebody else I'm missing. Carrie De La Cruz insert. AJ Reed's a good one. We got him earlier. For Houston. Insert card of Nick Gordon. And that is it. Three boxes left. Yeah, I remember you had Tommy John. He's about ready to come back from it. What was that early start of the year last year that he got it? Seems like the recovery process is like 12 to 15 months. Something like that. Dodger Autos. I do not think... There is a Dodger auto, but I am not 100% sure. I have the checklist on. I'll look for you real quick. I got the checklist right in front of me. There is some nice... It's a, it's a nice break for the Dodgers, but I do not think they have an auto. No, they don't. They got the uh, relic. 
The only good thing about that, though, is if they had a couple tough autos, they probably would have went for a lot more money than what they went for from your standpoint. They would just have the Seeger memorabilia and the parallel cards and the base set. Got another patch. Oh, another nice patch. I think our third one. Hunter Renfro for the San Diego Padres. Oh, that sucks. On Hefflinger. Nice card, though, for uh, Hunter Renfro. Padres have been very good for you, Dean. Don't tell Shimmy. I don't think Shimmy's in the room anymore. His internet blew up. I will, Kevin. I need to respond to your other email anyways. So I will look it up before I email you back. I sold my Mookie Betts auto the other day, Freddie, that I got in Prism like yours. Uh, 22. I didn't think that was too bad. Which bets you got? I actually have been looking at buying some more of his Bowman ones at the market rate because they've gone down so much. Again, they go up and down so much. Oh, Sterling Canary, yeah. That's a little higher dollar. Little higher dollar. On the half there, it for tops is just a matter. I'm sure they got him to sign a while back, and it's leftover stickers. Leftover stickers. Got a patch. Robert Stevenson. Yeah, we had a Carlos Rodon uh, parallel to 50 earlier. Nice card for Cincinnati. Cincinnati said a solid break. I only have one football item for now, even though I got some more that I just bought that I'll have in, uh, for next week, Bazzy. I'm buying a little bit of... Um, Select again and absolute at cheaper prices. But the only football I got left is the Panini Rookies and Stars. Which have four hits per box. And are $60 a box. Might be hard to fill some though with a baseball crew in the room. Nice card for Oakland. God, Oakland's had a good break, haven't they? There are not, there are not many Oakland A's cards, but we've hit two tough Matt Chapmans. Number 20 of 25, and the other one was 1 of 1. Good break for the Athletics. Excuse me, Jorge Polanco insert. Got a gold in here coming up. Let's make it the auto. I do not think it's the auto. Oh, it is. God, that sticker was hiding. 
For the Miami Marlins, Gold Auto of Blake Anderson. He was in Bowman Draft last year. He was a first round pick for the Marlins. Yeah, that was Hefflinger in this year's. He's in the set if he has an auto, because all the autos have a base card. Uh, nothing right now. I got a case of select football coming that I'm going to do some stuff with probably next week. It's a lot cheaper. A lot of Panini 2014 football card cases have come down a lot to where they're a lot more, a lot more of an affordable break. Jacob has one, I think, at the end of this week. He might do on Friday of select or absolute. Autograph, Springfield Cardinals, Patrick Wisdom. For the Cardinals, for Dino. I'd like to catch that variation card. Got to be one in this case, I would think. Not for sure, but likely. Manny Ramirez, promo nights for Texas Rangers, Round Rock Express. Is it another printing plate? Tyler Kolick insert for the Marlins. Kyle Freeland, insert. Alex Verdugo, insert card for the Dodgers. Almost done with this box. Grant Holmes insert. Got a gold. Nice card for the Red Sox. Blake Sw uh, Swire Swihart for the Pawtucket Red Sox. Number 16 of 50. <laughs> Hi, Dave. How you doing? Freddie took the put your spot in the room. Are you at uh, Starbucks currently getting a coffee and internet? Two boxes left. Swihart is that's cool to hear. Uh, you had a couple small cards. Where's Gallo at? We've had three one of ones. You have not hit one of those. You hit that one. Gold of Gallo. Number three of 50. 
and you hit one of these fabrics of the game stadium thing for Round Rock for Texas. Freddie was making fun of you for getting the Rangers, though. I didn't tell him your Padre story. <laughs> Don't rub it into him. He's a good guy. Despite whatever people say. <laughs> he texted me. He's like, I got the Padres, didn't I? I'm like, My internet is saying I didn't. I'm like, nope. Got a relic. Another Reds. Number 26 of 50, Robert Stevenson. Reds have been a really good break for Adam. A lot of different cards for the Reds. Two boxes left. I have not moved for two hours. I probably should have got up in the middle of this break. Another patch for the LA Dodgers. Pennant patch. Julio Urias. Nice card there. For the Dodgers. Dodgers been a good team tonight. Oops. All right, box 11. Autograph Julio Morbin for the Tacoma Rainers. That is the Seattle Mariners. Oop, I need some more top loaders. Be right back. I didn't lose you on box busters, did I? Nope, okay. Sometimes my box busters chat freezes up. Ugh. There is Julio for Seattle. A lot of my leg gears there. Casey Gillespie for the Rays.
Got a red. Oops. Got, oh no, I'm sorry, 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 that's orange. Colorblind after 11 boxes. Got an orange out of 25 of Jose De Leon for the Great Lakes Loons. And that is the LA Dodgers. Congrats, Dodgers. 19 of 25. It was definitely a great break for the Dodgers. Lots of value. Oh, okay. Sounds good, Thomas. Very good for the Dodgers. Let's see what else we got here. Got a lot left in this box. Nick Williams insert. Oops, I set the base cards in the wrong stack. Raphael Devers, insert. Gold card. For the Cardinals, Luke Weaver. Number five of fifty. White Sox were pretty good too. Dodgers, White Sox, Reds were one, some of the teams I said the most. Indians had a couple autos. Uh, Mets didn't do too bad either. There's a lot of Mets in this stuff. Kyle Schwarber insert. Had a couple nice nationals. Oakland did good for the price for sure. For sure on Oakland. KC did pretty decent for the price too. Autograph for the Houston Astros, Andrew Applin. I will definitely do a recap at the end of this, though, because there's going to be a lot of people watch the YouTube version since it's such a long break. 11-10. Fernando Perez insert. Bradley Zimmer insert card. Oh, that right there is it, isn't it? Alex Jackson, that's, mm, yep, that's a variation, caught it, for Seattle Mariners, I'm proud of myself when I can catch the base card variations, nice card for you Mariners owner, for Alex, and that's it, for box 11. One left right there.
Our last chance at a big card. Maybe hit a couple teams that haven't hit as much. We will see. <laughs> I do, don't I? It only takes one, though. If anybody, uh, you know, you guys got about 10, you're going to get about 10 base sets of each team. So if you guys do not have a very good use for those extra base cards, let me know via email. There's, um, I can offer you something for them on most teams. The price would definitely vary by the team. Some team sets are really good. Some I will have enough forever. If you're interested in more cards of this product, I am going to list uh, three cases worth of gold, orange, parallels, um, relics, um, team sets, some mascots, a couple one of ones that I hit. I'll probably do that tonight and tomorrow. <clears throat> if you guys find something you want and you purchase, if you do it quickly, like tonight or tomorrow, early tomorrow, let me know when I can refund your shipping since uh, you've already paid for shipping and I can send it with this as long as uh, I haven't already packaged it up. That's uh, that's I got this one in my cases too. This is for Cleveland. It's a mascot worn relic. Focus. Kind of a goofy card. It's like part of his mascot outfit. It won't focus very well. Sorry about that. There you go. That's for Cleveland. Mascot worn relic. And they cut the poor mascot apart. <laughs> is that the one you got? I got one of these also. That is definitely different. I'm not sure if my kid would like that or not. What happened to him? I really don't know. That one could go either way. Uh, Cardinals five or less. I do think I did get one. Um, I think I got a Weaver. Number to five. I'm not 100% sure. I think I did. Carlos Rodon. Pennant patches. White Sox had a really good break. The, uh, I'll look, um, Dino. You know, do me a favor. I know you messaged me on Facebook, but send me a regular email about the Cardinals, and that way I'll respond to it and I'll see it. You, my email is my same as my PayPal address, and I'll look and see what I have for Cardinals before I list them. Oh, you got Cleveland too, don't you? Uncle with the, uh, yeah, that's, that is definitely different. A piece of the mascot. Okay. Last stack of cards. And then we are done. 1116 Central Time. Definitely they were. Congrats on the good break for you. For the Dodgers Indians combo. We 
Well, there's an autograph for the Texas Rangers, Taquan Forbes. I think we lost Shimmy again for the internet. Thanks, Dino. I think his internet crashed when we were talking to him last. Michael Conforto insert. Got a gold coming up right here, peeking out. Could be an auto or a base. <laughs> What's up, Shimmy? Grant Holmes. Wow. I think it said Dodgers on the outside of my case. Didn't it? That is nutty how many Dodgers I've pulled. It really is. Congrats. I just hit a Taquan Forbes auto for you. There, big time shimmy. I know that's what you were looking for. Taekwon needs to learn to stay on the sticker a little better. He's got sticker issues, Dave. Cody Decker for the Padres. <laughs> Cole Tucker for the Pirates. Dave, your moment of glory is coming when Prospect Rush hits. That's spot number 11. Or it's 10. You got 10, don't you? I think you got 10. I'll have to look on the chart. I can't remember if you got 10 or 11. I know you won the RAS spot, but I think I sold one after yours. Yeah, you got spot 10. Alex Blandino insert. I'm going to do an update on that tomorrow as soon as I hear back from the guy. Got a orange parallel for the Minnesota Twins, Eddie Rosario for the New Britain Rockcats. Last stack. Autograph from the Houston Astros, Conrad Grigger. Insert card of Miguel Andujar for the River Dogs. And that might be it. Insert of Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Didn't hit that many Phillies. That's a pretty good team in this. Didn't hit them pretty good. That is it, guys. Congrats for those who did real well. Sorry for those who did not hit all that great. It was fun. Thanks for helping me fill it out. I am going to do a recap here in a second. If you take off, have a good night. I'll upload this video if you missed part of it in a little bit. 
Might take me a second here to stack up all these and then I'll fly through them real quick. Next time I'm live probably will be the Bowman break on Thursday. They end Wednesday night on eBay. I may do something Wednesday night also. I'm not sure. But I might not. Might just go with the Bowman. That's a really big endeavor, and sometimes it's better not to do a break right before. All right. Okay, I think I got these organized. Here's the autos. Parallels, variations, and the thicker cards. What's up, Jason? Thanks, Wyo. Appreciate it. Jock is a good one to go after in Bowman break. All right, this is pro debut break number one. I'm tired. Excuse me. Long break. This is what we got in 12 boxes of pro debut. Um, pennant cards. We got Carlos Rodon. We got a gold Noah Syndergaard. Gold third of 50. Gold Robert Stevenson. Those are patches. Gold Alex Jackson, Carlos Correa for the Astros, Clint Frazier, Michael Conforto, Tuki Toussaint. You should have came over, Jay. Getting off early. Fragments of the Farm, Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Rome Braves, game used pitching rubber. Round Rock Express, ballpark seat from Dell Stadium. That's a Texas Ranger right there. For, let's see, more of the pennants. Julio Urias. Sorry, got these out of order. Robert Stevenson. Josh Bell for the Pirates. Tim Anderson and Kyle Crick Gold. For patches, we got a couple of them. They are nice. I like these patches a lot. Well, first, I've got two more fragments of the game. This one is a mascot warm relic for Lake County. It's a little patch of the relic or the mascot there. And Wilmington Blue Rocks All-Star Game Ticket. Fragments of the Farm. The Game Used Patch Cards. We got Hunter Renfro for the Padres. Michael Lorenzen for the Reds. And a gold three-colored on the farm patch of Corey Seager. 29 of 50. Very nice, Jason. Might be my favorite card from the break is the Seager. Okay, we got one variation. Alex Jackson. Parallel cards. To 50, we got a gold. Sean Newcomb. Garrett Fullencheck for the Braves. Trey Turner for the Padres. Braden Shipley for the Diamondbacks. Lucas Giolito for the Nationals. Carlos Rodon, insert gold for the White Sox. Julio Urias for the Dodgers. Kyle Freeland for the Rockies. Jose Peraza for the Braves. Justin Oca oh, that's an orange. Justin Sh Justice Sheffield, gold for the Indians. Jamison Talion for the Pirates. Blake Swihart for the Red Sox. Joey Gallo for the Texas Rangers. Luke Weaver, gold for the Cardinals, 
Grant Holmes for the Dodgers. Orange. These are all numbered to 25. We got Peter O'Brien. Jesse Winker. Johan Garina for the Mets. Winker is a uh, Reds. Eduardo Rodriguez for the Portland Sea Dogs, the Red Sox. Rob Kaminsky for the Cardinals. These are all to 25. Insert parallel to 25, Matt Chapman. Jose De Leon for the Dodgers to 25. Eddie Rosario for the Twins. And Justin O'Connor for the Rays. To five, we got one, Trey Turner for the Padres. Nice card there. That's number five of five. We got a, a black of Dan Black for the White Sox. That's one of one. And a printing plate one of one of Matt Chapman for the Athletics. Oh, we had a couple mascots too. I missed these. We got Nutsy. Nutsy is a giant. We got Strike. Strike is a Yankee. And one of one of Homer for the Peoria Chiefs. <laughs> What's up, Ryan Reed? That is the video for Pro Debut.